What's up, y'all? Back with this $20 kitchen. Today, we're going to be doing um, stuffed garlic bread. So, um, what I got here, I got a whole loaf of French bread. Uh, I got this for a, a buck from Walmart. And you want to make sure that that's frozen. You want to make sure that it's frozen uh, before you cut it up and everything. But I'm going I'm to get to that. Ground beef, $2.22. We got our scallions, 72 cents. Uh, tomatoes on the vine. We got these for $1.29. Big bag of mozzarella cheese, Walmart. Uh, yeah, I got all this stuff from Walmart. Um, what did I pay for this? $5. $5.50. We got an organic mix, 50-50. I'll show you what we're going to do with that. Um, I got this for a buck. From Piggly Wiggly. Bag of onions, dollar sixty-eight. Um, bell pepper, Walmart, twenty-eight cent. Nice green. And Hunt's four cheese sauce. I got this for seventy-two cent. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and square this away. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my own garlic butter, and um. I'm going to melt the butter down. Well, I'm going to show you anyway, but we're going to start on that first because that way we can go ahead and put it in the refrigerator after we melt it down and it'll give you that soft texture when you take it out. So, all right, I'm going to check with y'all in a minute. All right, so we got one stick of butter, garlic powder. And once you melt this down, you can always go back, taste it, you know what I'm saying? Why it's melted. See if you want the right, how much garlic you actually want in it. So, parsley flakes. So, I'm going to take this in the microwave and I'm going to go ahead and um, melt it down and I'll let you see what it looks like afterwards.
All right, so we got our ground beef rolling. All I'm gonna do is uh, throw some seasonings in there. This is a uh, minced garlic. I got that for a dollar. Uh, Piggly Wiggly. Throw a little black pepper in there. You can season it however you want, but I'm gonna do my method and what I like. I'm gonna toss in a spoonful of crushed red peppers. A little bit of a uh, adobo, whatever kind of adobo you like. Stir that up one time. And the only thing that we're gonna throw in here is our onions. Our bell peppers. And some chopped scallions. I'm going to let this sweat down a little bit. Let it come all together. You know. That smells good already. Oh my god. Ooh. So we're gonna finish cooking this down in about five, ten minutes of cooking. I'm gonna add my four cheese sauce and uh my mozzarella and I and I'll show you that here in a minute. So I'll be right back with you. Let me finish letting this cook down for a little bit more. And then I'll I hop right back with y'all. All right, we got this cooked down a little bit more. You can see my onions and bell peppers getting a little uh, sweaty. So what did I do with it? That Hunt's four cheese sauce. I'm just gonna throw that in there. Stir that up. <clears throat> and um, how's a little loose if you want, like I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just take a little flour. And that'll thicken it up. And you know, you add, take away, whatever. It's thickening up already. I want mine a little bit thicker. I'm only I'm spreading it around so it's easy to stir in. And it gets thick. Yeah. All right, y'all, stop screaming, boy. We got our frozen French bread, and from look from looking at how much stuffing that I got, you would think. With the money that I had left over, I would have bought two more dollar French breads, right? But I didn't. But guess what? I got plenty, and I can always go back to the store and grab some more of this. I'm going to just cut right down here into these seams right here. Oh, and my knife, it's like, you know what I'm saying? You want one of them saw-looking knives, the rigid edges and stuff, so it's easier to cut through the frozen bread. Take a 
nice little effort. I'm not gonna cut myself, relax. It's really not this hard if I had a better knife. Take that set over here. I'm gonna cut one more up for y'all so you can get the idea. Being a bad boy. And really, it's, it's really the knife, y'all. I'm actually struggling with this. But once you get it, you're fine. So let me tell you what I'm gonna do here, right? I'm gonna set the bread there. I'm gonna cut half of this off, right, right up in here. This bread smells amazing. Next video, I probably have some new knives. I get paid this week. All right, bet. So this is gonna be our top, and this is gonna be our fill in. I'm gonna let this thaw out a little bit, and the reason for that is it'll be easier to dig out the inside of this bread. And when it's thawed a little bit, I'll come back and I'll show you. Okay, so. We got our tops off. We got our bread cut up. We got our bread cut up. Just showing y'all. Now, we're gonna take a knife and I'm gonna cut into it. Not cutting so deep to where I want it to go through. I don't I don't want to penetrate the bottom. I do not want to penetrate the bottom. Now I'm gonna come here and just cut at an angle. The bread is still frozen some. You know, make it make it more easier to manage. Now you can see where I'm coming at. Going at, whatever. Trying to hold it right while I'm watching through this camera view is the problem. But I'm trying to get it just right for y'all. You just hollowing this out. Take your time. You don't want to penetrate the bottom. I wish I would have brought my bread. I had the money. Saved over. <clears throat> so y'all don't make the mistake that I made. At this point, I'm gonna just start using my hand. It's a nice distance down. Just dig out a little bit more. I got my hand on the bottom so that way you can feel like if you pulling up too hard or anything like that and you don't want it to pull through. And there you go. So I'm going to do the rest of them and then I'm going to come back and uh, pre we're going to go ahead and start stuffing them. 
and I'll be right back with y'all. Okay, so we got our oven preheating to um, 425. If if you had punctured these and, and pulled the bread through, you can uh, replace it, you know what I'm saying, make a little bedding with some of that bread. So remember our butter from earlier? Nice, pliable, beautiful. Look at that. So, and we got our stuffing. See how that came together? Thickened up. So basically, we're gonna throw a little mozzarella in there. I haven't seen this done anywhere. If y'all seen it done somewhere, by all means, let me know. I haven't seen it done. Let me come up with a better way to do this. Add them, press them down, however you want. Usually I just go ahead and skip to the end, but I'm gonna turn this one around. But it's only five of them, so. Kind of press it down. All we're doing is pressing it down up in there. Some of these we can get some more in. Stuff them as much as you can. You can get some more in there. You can get some more in there. Now, next thing that we're going to do. We're gonna add a little bit more mozzarella on the top. And what this is gonna do when it melt down, it's kinda gonna help the top um, seal back up. So that's a good thing. You ain't gotta worry about the top falling off or none of that. So make sure you get some of the cheese hanging around the edges as well as on top. and keep them together. All right. Now what we're going to do Take some of my garlic butter. Spray that on.
that on the top. on the top that one on the top had a little bit of extra garlic bread butter okay um Next, what I'm going to do, remember these? So now what I'm going to do is, just going to dress them up. Just stick right to that butter. And you can use whatever you want, but I got such a good deal on this for it being only a buck. And I wanted something green. I was going to go with spinach, but I kind of always go with spinach. Fifty-fifty mix. Remember them tomatoes? Fit it right down that leaf. Leaves will help hold it. can't tell me that shit ain't pretty oh excuse my language try not to curse i really don't like to if i don't have to well you actually don't have to but you know more mozzarella So I made my own garlic butter, and it is amazing. Take a few more parsley flakes. Oh! Quick fix. I'll just turn it this way. I'm not gonna edit that out. I'm gonna keep it raw with y'all. I'm not gonna edit that out. I'm gonna keep it funky because these things happen in the kitchen. And it's okay. It is okay. All right, time to pop her in the oven. Stuffed garlic bread fresh out the oven. You know what's next. About to go ahead and plate it. We're going to dig in and see what it looked like. Hope you enjoyed. Stuffed garlic bread. Hope you enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe. Appreciate you.